Hey guys, you are Zoo and to review the Lee Pin Lego Like Avengers Infinity War Thanos Ultimate Battle Set. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended version 6 and up, and comes with 755 pieces, and this is set 07103, comes with 3 mafix and 1 big fake. The 3 mafix are Iron Man, Gamora, and Star Lord, and the 1 big fake is Thanos. So, the box art is copied directly from the original set, and at the corner you can see you have uh, Thanos himself, and at the top you have the Super Escort. So, this is the top of the box which has a handle and uh, shows you the mafix and also the actual size of Star Lord. So this is the side of the box uh, which shows you the Lego version of Thanos. So this is the other side of the box which shows you the box art. So this is the bottom of the box which doesn't have anything too interesting. And finally, this is the back of the box, which shows you all of the features and it shows you that it can connect to the smaller escape pod or something like that and shows you it comes with uh, power burst uh, pieces and at the corner, you have the Lego version of Thanos. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with a very big tray. So this is the instruction manual itself right here. And yeah, it's quite big actually, but it's not that thick. So yeah, this is the first page right here, which shows you the numbered bags. And this is the final page, which shows you the Benatar. And this is the back which just shows you the back of the box and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the instructions so these are all of the extra pieces for this set right here so this bag this is what everyone will get when they get uh, this set so yeah these are all of the official ones I guess and yeah so you just have the brick separator which is the Lee Pin design, you have the extra infinity stones which yeah this one is the reality stone and you have the two extra studs for the stud shooter. And lastly this one is a very interesting one, this is an extra hair piece for Peter Quill because uh, they molded it in the wrong color. This is in gold. It's supposed to be in a kind of orange red kind of color, I guess. And yeah, uh, I know this one is the wrong hair piece, but yeah, this is the hair piece that they included with the figure. They didn't bother to mold the Superman hair piece. But aside from that, I believe that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So this is the Bentar build itself right here and as you can see it does look really sleek and it looks very big as well but it's mostly because of the width of the wings. So on this side of the wing you have a sticker piece right here and the part the sticker piece is on it is mobile and under there you have the lights, you have a stud shooter right here and you have another sticker piece right here which I'm not sure what it's supposed to be and you have a small wing piece which is mobile so yeah and at the very end you have two Two wing pieces which can be adjusted you can move it up and down but most of the time it'll be in this kind of position so yeah and on the other side it's basically the same you know you have the stud shooter which does fire which is really nice you have the adjustable wing and you have uh, this part right here which is the only part that's different there's no sticker so yeah so this is the cockpit section right here which has this printed piece which is from the guardians of the galaxy volume 2 set you can open this up if you want to but how you're supposed to get access inside is by pulling up this entire part which is quite a big so yeah and inside you'll find two seats for uh, the passenger and the pilot and this entire part can be pulled out which is nice to get access at the side you have the clips uh, and yeah here I have Star Lord's blasters and Gamora's katanas and uh, there are clips on both sides and this is supposed to be a space scooter type thing and yeah at the back you have the crusters and at the bottom you just have the crusters and here you have a controller right here and here you have a ball joint which can be clipped by the clip piece inside and yeah this is how this space scooter stays inside you have this part with the tiles 
so you can slide this thing in quite easily so that's really nice and this is how they look like when they are inside and you can close this up so this is how the ship looks like from the side you have this movable part right here and at the bottom of each wing you have this propulsion or the cluster which can be spin around if you want to and yeah it's also on the other side and this is how the bottom of the ship looks like and this is the back of the ship which has these two small pieces right here which you can move to the side you have this piece right here which has a sticker on it and yeah the sticker it's uh, for both pieces so yeah and they are quite loose on there which uh, is kind of unfortunate but you have this access ramp right here which you can pull down and you can see a little bit of the interior and how you're gonna get access into the back section of the ship is by pulling down the ramp and uh, removing the roof piece and the roof piece right here you have a sticker right here which is supposed to be the ravager symbol in the movie i believe and you have uh, these small flaps right here which uh, i'm gonna show you what they are supposed to do later so this is the interior of the ship which has two seats for two passengers passengers and you have uh, this kind of access into the main cockpit section and at the side you have this sticker piece right here which is supposed to be a display type thing and this is how it looks like and yeah it does look really really nice and it's on both sides as well and here you have a cargo section with a jumper piece and this is where you place in Thanos' gauntlet with the stand thing right there and you put this there and you put back the roof you close the cargo ramp and push down off the flaps and yeah that's um, pretty much it for the interior of the ship. So if you are wondering what three of those connector pieces at the bottom are for, they are for connecting to the escape pod from Thor's weapon quest set. And I have uh, the ship itself right here. And there are three of uh, the Technic pieces. You have the two axles and one connector. And you simply just connect it to the bottom section of the ship and you put back on the roof and you push down on these pieces right here that's what they are for and you push down the flaps you close this in and now the pot it's part of the Benatar now so yeah this is how it looks like and yeah the ship it gets much heavier and yeah there's no place to hold because if you hold this part it's not very really stable so yeah there's that but um yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for everything about the Benatar build so the first main figure right here is Iron Man so he comes with a lot of accessories which I'll be removing later but I'll be showing all of these uh, extra accessories later so let's remove them as for the figure itself let's take a look at the helmet first so the helmet itself it just looks awful it looks really really bad and Leapin did a big screw up right here because these black lines right here they are just way too thick other brands uh, they can execute this much more better and yeah I'm not sure what happened with Leapin's uh, Iron Man I believe I haven't gotten any previous versions of Iron Man from Leapin before so yeah this is the first time that I've gotten a Leapin Iron man and it looks bad the lines they are just way too thick they're supposed to be thinner so yeah it sucks but you can open up this mask right here and you can see Tony Stark's face which has the heads up display and yeah it does actually look pretty good it's just a bit off center uh, which does kind of suck but it does look pretty good and yeah this is the alternate expression without the heads up display not sure why the, this printing right here it's kind of rubbed off does suck um, but for the torso printing itself it looks quite good it's just that the arc character it doesn't have the blue accent on it so yeah it does look a little bit weird with the gray color but I think it's fine if you don't notice it uh, but for the rest of the suit I think it's uh, pretty good on par with other bootleg brands Iron Man 
and yeah the back torso printing it's pretty good as well it's just that you have this scratch right here but yeah aside from that I think the printing it's fine it's just the helmet the helmet is the main problem so the second figure right here is Gamora so she comes with two of her katanas which does look really nice and you have the hairpiece right here which does look nice as well it's accurate to the original lego version with uh, the pink detailing and yeah i think we did a great job on the hairpiece and for the face print itself you have her tattoos right there this kind of um smiling expression i guess and for the alternate expression this is her angry expression and yeah it does look really nice as well so yeah and for the torso printing you have the this jacket detailing right here with uh, her undershirt and yeah you have the belt you have the leg detailing and yeah you have the lines right there you have the this kind of strap thing and yeah the jacket detailing continues to the bottom and for the back torso print you have the jacket detailing with uh, some of this kind of texture right there which does look really nice and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for Gamora so the third figure right here is Star Lord. So he comes with two of his blasters right here, which uh, Li Ping got the mold right, which is definitely great. The hairpiece itself, it's the wrong mold, which does suck. I'm not sure why they didn't bother to mold the Superman hairpiece because uh, a lot of sets uh, have that hairpiece and it would probably benefit them. Uh, so I'm not sure why they didn't do it. It's the wrong hairpiece. And it looks really bad on the figure. The color is right though. Um, I'm glad that they have a replacement for it. It's just that the molding uh, is wrong. Uh, but for the face printing, you have the beard detailing with this smile right here. And for the torso detailing, you have the jacket detailing with the, this belt right here. And you have the undershirt. And yeah, there's no leg detailing. And for the alternate expression of the figure, this is the uh, angry expression, which does have some scratches on it, which sucks. Looks kind of uh, off center, which I'm not really sure if it is. You have the back of his jacket detailing, which looks really nice as well, with uh, some of the black lining. But here you can see it's rubbed off. So yeah, the the printing of this figure is just really really bad, and also the hairpiece as well. It's the wrong mold. So yeah, uh, but aside from that, that's pretty much it. Last but not least for the figures, this is Thanos. He's armed with his sword right here, which kind of looks like a butter knife. And yeah, you know, it's pretty accurate to the original version. And you know, you have the armor detailing right here with uh, some printing on the helmet and some printing below his chin. You have the torso detailing right here, which does look really nice. And you have this kind of belt detailing. You have a little bit of uh, this texture right here. And yeah, this is the back. There's no detailing at all, but you know, um, it's a big fig. So yeah, this blue part right here, the, the material of it, it kind of feels matte. I'm not sure if it is or not, but yeah, it, it feels very nice to touch, so yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's matte or not, but yeah, you have uh, his purple arms right here, but um, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Thanos. So this is Iron Man with most of his accessories on, there are just two pieces left, and yeah, most of these, they are power burst pieces. And yeah, it's nice that Lee Pin made them. They kind of feel different from LEGO's version. LEGO feels more higher quality. And yeah, this one, you know, it, it feels more lower quality, I guess. More Lee Pin quality. So you have these two long blast pieces, which connect to this um, transparent piece right here. And you have this smaller blast right here. And you have uh, this bigger blast piece. So yeah. And you have the jetpack build itself, which, you know, it's a very simple build. You have uh, stickers for detailing, and yeah, the detailing, it isn't that great. 
because of the stickers the stickers they are just really bad so the back uh, it's these four parts right here they are connected to this back attachment piece and yeah it's uh, it's introduced in the Infinity War sets and yeah uh, so at the bottom here you have these smaller kind of crusts and at the top ones uh, you have these bigger crust pieces which they are power burst pieces so yeah um, and you also have these smaller pieces right here but aside from that that's pretty much it for all of Iron Man's accessories so this is the Infinity Gauntlet with the stand. So let's take a look at the stand itself. So you have stickers for detailing on four sides and yeah, the stickers look quite bad. And you know, the gauntlet, you can kind of turn it around when it's on the stand and you can take off the gauntlet but the bottom uh, connector piece, it's quite tight in there. So yeah, but uh, let's put the Infinity Gauntlet on Thanos' hand. So this is how it looks like on Thanos' hand. And yeah, it's quite loose on there actually, which does suck. And you know, you have the uh, Reality Stone and you can put on other Infinity Stones on there if you want to. And it looks quite similar to the original LEGO version and you know it looks quite nice but the only problem here is that it's just loose so that really sucks but um, yeah aside from that that's pretty much it with the infinity gauntlet so origin of this set here is so how to deal with it let's start with the good parts first so i really like the build but there are two things that I hate about it. I don't like the stickers. They are really bad quality and the color, it doesn't match. So yeah, and also there are a lot of loose pieces on the ship. So if you are kind of playing around with it, uh, sometimes one of them might even fall off. So they aren't exactly that firm. And yeah, especially this piece at the back here, you know, it's clipped on and yeah, it's clipped on very loosely. So. Yeah, that. and for the figures, I think they are really, really bad, especially for Iron Man right here. Yeah, like look at the mass. You know, it they really screwed up the mass, and yeah, it's the first thing they'll look at when you look at uh, an Iron Man minifigure. So, yeah, and uh, for the rest of the torso detailing and the leg detailing, I don't think they are really that bad. The main problems are just the molding. So. Uh, yeah, but uh, for the power burst pieces, I think they are fine and the jetpack build, you know, obviously the stickers suck and uh, For these two figures right here I'm not sure why they didn't bother to mold Superman's hair piece because it's included in a lot of sets I just don't understand why Lee Pin uh, didn't mold it and yeah, but uh, the rest of the figure, it's pretty good. And for Gamora, she isn't sitting down fully. So yeah, that's a problem here. But for the rest of the figure, I think it's fine. And for Thanos right here, I think he's pretty good. But the only problem with him is with the really tight movement. So yeah, it does kind of suck. But it's not so big of a deal. So yeah and lastly for the gauntlet itself i think the gauntlet is very well done it's really good and yeah the infinity stone is not so bad as well and yeah um i think it's really good so if you want to get this set just for the build then i definitely think you should get it but if you are getting this set for the figures and the build i don't recommend you getting this set maybe you should get the shingyan version because shingyan in their quality they are very consistent and for Li Pin right here, yeah, their figures, they just suck. So, yeah, if you're gonna get the Li Pin version, you, you should just get it for the build, not for the figures. The figures, maybe you should buy Xing Yan's figures or Zin's figures, I'm not sure. But, yeah, just don't buy this set just for the figures. So, yeah, um, so the build is good, but the figures, they are bad. So, if you want to buy this, I recommend you getting it. But definitely not for the figures. So if you want to buy a set here, I'll put a button to it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.